Let's get to the Keep Supreme. So I was looking at Axis Online, ran into this kind of a survival axe. And here we go. So it comes with the case. Looks like you got a couple of snaps. Kind of fall straight out of itself. You got the hammer. Looks like they welded it on. Um, a little bit of ground. It, it's definitely axe sharp. You can tell there's a nice angle there, good for splitting like wood. Uh, they had this thing screwed in with these Allen branches, like an Allen screw that runs into like a sleeve on the other side. Looks like the same thing, but it's not. Like one side's a female side, one side's a male side. I went ahead and added blue Loctite to everything. Kind of makes it really stick together. Like here's a little bit of blue Loctite and the threads right there. Uh, I didn't really want it rotating around on me. That's the accent. <clears throat> and you kind of got a spacer. This comes off of the axe head that gets you down to this knife. I'm not sure about this knife. It looks like you got a little bit of saw action. It's every other, kind of that every other triangle design. It really looks like it would saw. It would. You'd get it done. Kind of a standard tip. I really like the blade shape. I don't like this. There's a bottle cap opener. I guess it's nice to have a bottle cap opener, but anytime they do that, it seems to me that they weaken the knife. This too can come off, it can unscrew, but I put a bunch of Loctite on that piece because I don't want it to move. Anyway, it really makes the knife kind of thin. Maybe it's for survival, you're not going to want to stab anything, but I think that's kind of how I'd want to survive. Alright, the next piece that comes up that fits into that piece is the fire steel. So it comes off and then you can fire steel some stuff, you know, start yourself a fire. And then on the back of that, you've got the glass breaker. Pretty nice piece piece that sits on the bottom of that glass breaker. Again, a little bit more more blue Loctite. And then you've got a compass in case you get lost. And it is. It's showing north and it says north is that way. <coughs> so I don't know. This seems pretty decently sharp. Anyway, let's get it all put together. It only fits like one way. There's this thread is smaller than this thread. Okay, so I'm going to get that nice and locked on there. Everything is gnarled. Actually really well. It's like you could almost, you could sand something with this gnarl. So get the knife locked up. Got rubber gaskets to keep it dry in there. So if you want to put anything else inside one of these little compartments, maybe some dry something so you could start a fire. Probably be a good idea. I like the blue Loctite inside of everything because I didn't want it to move on chopping on stuff. But it's definitely made it harder to maneuver and get into this hatchet. I actually have to use some gloves to get in it, so maybe it's better not to do that. If you stored anything on this end, this is drilled through. I'll give you a little piece of paracord. Here's the bottom, so you can find out where you're going. Alright, I mean that's definitely, it's, it's got a nice feel to it, it definitely does. Here, let's find out what the hard drive magnets do. steel for the head, that's awesome. Since I put the Loctite on there, this thing doesn't move. Just put a little bit of blue Loctite on stuff. Kind of 
keep things civilized. I am curious. You have rubber gaskets and all of it. So. Well, we know that that's actually metal. This is a several hard drives worth of magnet. nothing here. So, okay, so the bolts are ferrous. This is non-ferrous. And that's kind of what I was thinking. It's getting a kind of a light magnetic reading. So it is. It's an aluminum kind of alloy. Do have steel parts on the steely part areas. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the, the length of it. I think it'd make a good hatchet. I don't really understand. Like, I, I'm not somebody that goes like deep into the woods and all of a sudden we'll be lost somewhere. At least I hope not. I like to go to Rim Rock Lake. And when you drink him by the lake is what you find me. Anyway. Yeah, you're using a pretty good metal here. There you have it. Keep it in the... I wanted to be able to hammer. I mean, of course, you hammer intense spikes in or whatever. And you've also got nice hatch ends. So you could hatch it up some, some kindling. I think the blue Loctite's definitely helped me so it doesn't kind of like wiggle open. But it does make it harder to open. So, I mean, there's a trade-off. All fits together really snugly. It is waterproof, except for this bottom area. I mean, if you've got the string coming through here, you're probably not going to get very much waterproof. It's gnarled all the way, the whole the way down. I mean, that's really nice. It wasn't really that expensive. We're talking like a $20 hatchet. But I think it's worth every bit of 20 bucks. I don't know that it's really worth a lot more than that, but it does come with a sheath. Good snaps. A little loose in the sheath. You can tell a little bit loose in the sheath. You can hammer with it in the sheath. 